Number 431 on Yankee, it's going to be taxi via Bravo Alpha to runway 25 at Alpha 2. 25 Alpha 2 via Bravo Alpha, 431 on Yankee. Number 431 on Yankee, free your VFR flight phone, remain outside the Orlando class, Bravo in, so further advised. Departure frequency 119.77, squawk 1055. Remain outside class, Bravo to advise, departure frequency 119.77, squawk 1055, 431 on Yankee. Our 431 is correct. It's so incredibly hot out here that I wish I actually had a hydro pack in my flight bag. So, for those of you watching, thinking about filling up your flight bag, throw in a hydro pack. Yes, I really did wish I had water in my bag for that flight. As really any flight in Florida, if anybody flies in Florida, you know how just absolutely hot it is. What I'm talking about today is what I keep in my flight bag and there's a couple of pieces that are really important to this video in particular. One is that I am a private pilot that only has about 200 total hours and my missions are very different from let's say a certified flight instructor or ATP or a commercial pilot. What I keep in my flight bag is probably going to be along the lines of a typical weekend warrior. I fly for coffee and my longest flight has probably been about an hour a little more than an hour in one single leg. I haven't gone over any kind of open water yet. By open water, I mean you actually need life vests in your plane, and that will also impact what you actually have in your flight bag. Now, that doesn't change that I still have a first aid kit in my flight bag, and of course, this stuff can change. So the first thing is the actual bag itself. For my bag, my primary bag, I've got my Burton bag. What I keep in the main portion here is going to be my knee board and that comes with the notepad and the pen. I have my log book in my bag and I actually will take pictures of it. I just like having the good traditional one. This is my first log book too so I'm sure I'll probably step into the electronic one eventually. I have my headset in there and like I said my second one for passengers is actually in a separate bag and that's also where I'll put some of the GoPros. I keep my iPad in that main bag the two GoPro mounts that I use for flying, no reason to take it out because I'm not gonna strap this on the tie down on my car because there isn't a tie down on my car. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. I also got a flashlight in there because I do fly at night. It's one of the Smith & Wesson's ones straight off of Sporties. I keep a travel scale in there and a spare set of batteries. If I ever needed to, let's say, bring a couple extra things and make sure that weight and balance makes sense, I typically do my weight and balance prior, but if somebody adds something, I can adjust on the fly. I also have this unbelievably ugly folder, which used to keep a lot of my old cross-country stuff when I was learning, but I also keep any kind of six sacks in there, which is basically for passengers that get sick. I keep both my checklists for my 172 and the Piper Archer in there. And of course, a couple of the other tools like the E6B that you now have a digital version of that. That's everything in the main bag. My side pockets, I've got both emergency blankets, a washcloth, which I've used all the time to clean off the windshield, any kind of wet wipes. I got a small med kit on the side there, and then I got some hand sanitizer. My front top pocket is going to hold my glasses. So I've got an extra pair of glasses that are not polarized in there. I've got the stall horn tester in there as well. I've got a multi-tool. I've got way too many pens. And then every once in a while, I'll throw in a charger or something like that if I need to keep my phone or iPad charged. The bottom one is completely taken up by a full big first aid kit. That's all I could fit in there. The only thing that really changes on this setup is if I do have a passenger. And this is the bag that I actually use for my passenger. I'll throw my extra headset in there. And and then I'll also throw the GoPros in there, saves a little bit of space in my main backpack. The only thing I've really added over the last year has been that flashlight as I have started to fly more at night. And then being more prepared on the actual battery power, having your iPad charger or having a phone charger. Other than that, this backpack setup has been great for me. So if you are a weekend warrior, if you're just flying for coffee, you're not doing anything over a single leg that's maybe an hour, then a lot of the stuff that I have in my bag, one will keep things light for you. And and then two, you'll have a lot of the essentials that you're gonna need anyways. This is different from, let's say, the flight instructor or a commercial airline pilot or just a regular CPL, commercial pilot. A lot of things are a little different and some of the equipment, some of the gear could change. There's also personal preference. So there's things like actually making sure that you have a particular flight bag. But at the end of the day, this has worked out really well for me. I really enjoy it. If you've got any questions or comments, you saw anything that you like, you wanna know where I got it, go ahead and leave a comment below. If you like the video, go ahead and press like. If you like any kind of aviation, travel, business content, just following along some crazy life experiences, go ahead and press subscribe and the notification bell. Next 
next door. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next week.